Now let's turn to your palm today. Okay. You did something kind of cheeky. So you uh, you took the one thing everybody has heard about investing. First person of investing. Yeah. First person. And everybody's yeah. Heard. This is uh, the only thing. Right. The ten and commandments said, of investing. This is commandment number one. And you said yeah. it's BS. Right. So, buddy, right. you've got to explain it to me. Let's, right. let's hear it. So I found a blog post, or a friend of mine sent me a blog post that said just this. So I kind of riffed on that, which is buy low, sell high is the dumbest piece of financial advice you could ever imagine, which is sort of shocking. And I like shocking contrarian statements. Mm -hmm. um, but as I was simultaneously helping out a friend who was trying to time her retirement account, saying, you know, markets been kind of volatile. Maybe I should just put off, you know, um, contributing to my retirement accounts and wait until the market gets more stable. Mm -hmm. And so it's like she's trying to wait till she could buy low, the market gets lower and let me buy it then. Mm -hmm. um, so she's doing what, you know, the first commandment says, buy low, sell high. Uh, and it's a terrible, there are terrible outcomes that occur if you actually try to time well, the market. Generally, just, everybody's bad at it. Right. Well, let me just interject this. So uh, given the way the markets are today uh, and probably will be for a while going, going forward, I would probably try to avoid eye contact with this with this employee. <laughs> she's gonna, you know, she's looking at her, her quarterly statements. No, they're not going to be. Happy. Statements are going down. She's thirty she's years old. She has thirty five more years for this to grow. And the most important thing to do is not only that I avoid eye contact with her, but she avoids <laughs> eye contact with her financial uh, statements. And uh, that would be the best thing. Okay. Well, so now do nothing is the best thing. Okay. okay. Explain why. Why, why is uh, buy low, sell high? Turns out, I mean, she's not a professional investor, right. but even it turns out if you were to study professional investors, they generally also suffer from the same irrational biases of being human, which is we panic when it's, um, when it's, when it's bad and we get overly greedy when times are good and we, it's a, we have a very hard time doing what you're supposed to do mathematically, which is, you know, purchase with the smallest number of dollars and sell with the highest number of dollars. Mm -hmm. um, most academic studies, not marketing reports put out by mutual fund companies, but most yeah. academic studies have said, Almost nobody effectively does this, mm -hmm. except um, people who do, you know, how does do, how do, how do an ordinary non-professional do it? You just set up a automatic program of investing like a dollar cost averaging every month or every mm -hmm. paycheck, um, and you, you blindly put the money in, and you will essentially purchase when things are low, you'll also purchase when things are high, and you and also, I would say, never sell. So there's no selling in my world. There's only buying on a regular basis, irrespective of market levels. Okay. Apart from underwriting exactly. like that, yeah, that, that one golden rule. Uh, I guess you would be saving a ton of money on fees, right? Transactional taxes fees, and taxes. Correct. So it, it might make sense. It will work out it better. It might make sense. Yeah.